been out all uh, all winter. It's been under two feet of snow. It's been in the rain. And I haven't done a thing to it. I did take some footage with uh, two feet of snow on it, and the blades clear themselves, so it just kept running. But I lost the footage. Bummer. Anyway, I've got the voltage tripler on it, and uh, right now it's putting out enough voltage uh, to easily charge this battery down here. I'll show you what the open load uh... all right so I'm just going to touch it to here and you'll see what it will do I'll jump right up about 40 volts. I don't know if you can see that. I'll be able to see that speed better. Wind speed is uh, that's a 10 mile an hour speed. right at 40 volts. This was a dead battery at uh, oh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's 6 o'clock now. It was at about 7 volts. <laughs> it's really dead. It's a abused battery. But it's, uh, it's getting charged. It's coming up. So this, uh, this turbine could power a uh, 24 volt battery bank. And that's that's what it's intended for plus a grid tie inverter my wiring's a mess I just was uh, trying it out I gotta clean it up get all the wiring in in the right way and then uh, put a cover on it you can see the the alternator isn't turning that fast but it's still putting out enough voltage to charge Still haven't got anybody to kit this for me. I got to find a woodworker that'll CNC cut the wood. And um, funny, with people out of work, I can't find anyone that'll do it. Not even a phone call back. But um, the alternator will be part of the uh, the actual turbine and not a separate unit on top because making that separate unit is too expensive. So we'll uh, we'll make it a part of the uh, rotor. Incorporate the coils into the the top and it'll be a nice clean unit.